GoodMorningSelf.com. I'm Chris Egan, and uh, we're going to be here talking about the movie Letters to Juliet. So it's like an action thriller. It's this a, a film? high-paced thriller action yeah, psychological gun. thriller. Do you have lots yeah. of stunts? And a lot of guns? A lot of stunts, and I did my own stunts too. I, I said uh, I really put my foot down about that. Meaning kissing and <laughs> yeah. drinking wine. Meaning kissing and, and drinking wine and lots of pasta. Uh, and so too much pasta. Was that like an issue? I mean, the actors have to worry about how they look and what they're eating. Yeah, no, we, we weren't like stuffing our face every day with pasta, sort of like carbs before three, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> no, no. Is that your rule? No, no, <laughs> no, no, but we did, we, you know, because we we got to know all the, you know, we were shooting on location and all the places we were, were like vineyards with real families that owned them that we got to know and they would cook for us and give us free wine and... You know, it's just terrible. Uh, we did. We felt just a sense of responsibility. Yeah. You know, to tell the story. To tell this story. Vin poor vineyard owners. <laughs> yeah, in horrible locations. Yeah. You know, Tuscany is tough. It is tough. I, when they told you about the movie, um, you're gonna be shooting in Italy. Look, what did they tell you? What was the sell for this for you? Uh, well, I read the script, um, <clears throat> and I'd sort of come back from New York, and I was in New York for a year doing Kings and. Um, and it was freezing cold and really chaotic schedule and and so when I read it, <laughs> it being Italy and, you know, I fell in love with the character and I was like, yeah, this would be kind of good after New York. This is kind of a perfect next job. Now tell the truth, when you got a script from Summit, did you, like at first, did you think you were going to be playing a vampire? Did you think it was a Twilight movie? I kept, and, and I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I kept thinking, like trying to find the scene where suddenly the, the, the you know, the teeth come out and I, my, the eyes glaze over. Um, but no, there was none of that. No. I suggested it. I said maybe we could do a bit of a Twilight, you know, Letters to Juliet thing, but it didn't work. You yeah. acted with Vanessa Redgrave, was your grandmother in this. Yeah. What was that like? That was, that was pretty amazing. Um, I was really nervous to meet her and I, I loved her work. And for me, it's, you know, my first big role in a movie and, and to play opposite her for, for that and to be playing her grandson was just a privilege. So, yeah, working with Amanda was like unbelievable and fun and crazy, but Vanessa was like a real highlight for me. Because there's this sense, you know, when she comes on set, you know, there's this authority and presence that she has and, and for her to be so generous with us and to, yeah, treat us like peers and, you know, um, there's, no, there's no ego there. She, she was just so, like, giving us all sorts of advice and tips and... You know, she would talk about one scene for about an hour, and you know, we were just, I mean, that was just amazing to sit there and watch that and, and to learn from her, you know. Um, is there a favorite moment that you have in the film, or that even if you can't say it exactly, that you can tease to? I think the coolest moment for me was um, the day in the movie where me and Amanda spend that time in, in, in walking around Siena. Because that was just so much fun. We pretty much did all those scenes in one day, and it was just like, it felt so romantic, you know. It was hard not to feel romantic and kind of being on this date with Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> now, did she ever give you any advice about anything? I think more uh, more to do with the stuff that uh, I'm going through now, you know, um, because it's the first time I've done a, a real, you know, sort of heavy press junker for, for a movie. Um, I, I did a bit of it for Kings, but I never travelled and, you know, was doing the big stuff I'm doing now. So... It's been good because she's, she's gone through it so many times and, and uh, so, yeah, if I've ever been confused about an interview or what does it feel like to do this, I've just called her and we, we've become great friends, so it's really cool.